Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today I am here with 6 quick methods to fix Photoshop error JPEG marker missing. But before we get started, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to notified when our new video lands. The reasons why you can't open JPEG file and get JPEG marker missing error is incorrect or misspelled file extension, different image file format from the source file, hardware and device problem, damaged or corrupted image file. Now, let's move on to fix this with 6 best fixes. Solution 1. Change the image file extension. One of the prime reasons for JPEG marker missing error in Adobe Photoshop is an incorrect file extension. It generally happens when any user had tried to change the file extension manually previously. So, in such case modify the file extension with guided instructions, right-click on the JPEG image file, and select the Open with option. Then select the MS Paint program to open it. Select the destination, change the file name, optional, and click on Save. This will save the file to the desired destination in the desired format. Now try to access the file in Adobe Photoshop to check the effects. Solution 2. Rename the image file. Another best way you can try is to fix the issue is by renaming the image file. You just need to select the image file, and press F2 or make a right click on it, and select rename option to change the file name. Solution 3. Open image with another editor and change file format. If you are not at all able to open the JPG slash JPEG images with Adobe Photoshop, try opening the image file with another photo editor app. Sometimes, this can fix your problem. Follow the steps to do so. Open Paint program on your system. Go to File. Open and select the image. Go to Files. Click Save As. Scroll down Save As Type Field. Choose the file extension you want to convert to. Click Save. Once saved, open the file with Adobe Photoshop. This time you'll be able to view the image in the Adobe. Solution 4. Use JPEG Photo Repair Tool. If you are unable to open JPEG file because of any damage or corruption in files, our best and reliable JPEG photo repair tool to fix the issue. This repair tool has the ability to repair JPG images as well as other image file formats such as PNG, BMP, TIFF, GIF, RAW images, etc. Now, let's look at the steps to use the software. Step 1. Download. Install and launch Photo Repair Tool on your computer. Click on Add File to repair corrupt slash damaged image files. Step 2. You can then select the files for repairing. Next, click on Repair to begin the repairing process. Step 3. Finally, click on Save button to preview. And save repaired images on your desired location on the computer. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. After this, you will be able to open and view the JPEG images in the Adobe Photoshop. Solution 5. Try using a hex editor. This might seem like an overcomplicated method, but you can actually determine if the extension of the image is correct by opening the file in a hex editor. Here's a quick guide on using a hex editor to see which extension is correct according to your image file. Make sure that you have a hex editor at the ready. Open the troublesome image file in the text editor and check the characters at the very start. Then, compare them with the list below and see if you get a match among the most common file types. Once you identify what the correct extension should be, close the hex editor and bring navigate to the location of the file using File Explorer. Then, right-click on the image, and modify the extension accordingly. Note, if you can't see the extensions of your files, go to the View tab in the ribbon at the top and check the box associated with file name extensions. Once the extension has been modified accordingly, open the image with Photoshop again. You will no longer encounter the JPEG marker type is missing error. 
Solution 6, Run Hardware Troubleshooter? It is important to check for hardware issues and perform hardware troubleshooting, as the error may occur due to the malfunctioning of hardware and other devices. Check out this process to run the hardware troubleshooting on your system. Go to Control Panel on your system. Click on the Troubleshooting option from the Control Panel items. On the Troubleshoot Computer Problems page, click on the Configure a Device option under the Hardware and Sound section. On the next page, click on Next to continue. Follow the instructions to troubleshoot and find the existing issues with the hardware and devices. If issues are found, perform the suggested solutions to fix this. Thanks for watching.